Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be playing with the Tummy X Makeup Revolution Tropical Paradise palette. This, this one right here. And I mentioned in my last video, I wasn't too sure of which one I was going to do, but I said I think I'm going to do that. And I was watching RuPaul Drag Race last night and I suddenly decided to just start creating a look. So I've already took the pictures, took them last night. And as you can see, I've gone for a very smoky, like dark, sultry, glamorous, well glamorous to me anyway look. I've already set, applied my base. Uh, this time I actually used the Heartbreakers Concealer in Shortbread by I Heart Revolution and I set it with my um, Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. So the first shade uh, I'm going to go in with, sorry I'm just getting the thing with the names on, is going to be Coraline, which is this purple right here. And I'm taking that on a Rolling Nicole Moda crease brush. And this is just going to go all the way through my crease and up to my brow. So how's everyone's day going? It's actually quite nice and sunny here in the UK for the past couple of days. It's been really nice. Sorry if you can hear a dog playing. My dog decided he wanted to play with his uh, big um, hump bone that he plays with. <laughs> yeah. He's literally just sitting next to me, humping away. They said having a dog spayed, or whatever it is called, that it's supposed to decrease the uh, randiness. I swear, it has made mine worse. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't change him for anything though. I love him too much. He's my little doggy, so he's my little baba. Well, go over there and play. <laughs> Mommy's trying to do makeup look. So, like I said, I'm just taking this shade all the way through my crease and all the way up to my brow, and then. Just winging it out and whatever's left I'll just blend into the front of my brow like normal. So guys, my dog just uh, knocked me bronzer off and now I'm knocking everything over. <laughs> the next shade I'm going to take on a, another crease brush is the shade Majestic which is literally just right under car line the day darker purpley shade and that i'm just gonna work through my crease take it pretty far in but leave like the inner quarter third whatever it is blank without it and then work it up so, Quite high, but not as high as I took a car line. Sorry if I stutter a bit today, guys. My um, my words and that are getting all quite mumbled today in my head. And at the best of times, my head and my mouth are not connected. So when my words get even more jumbled, it makes it harder to say what I mean to say. So I'm just taking some more of that shade and then really just focusing it in the crease and outer V. So as I was saying a minute ago, it's actually been really nice and sunny here in the UK. Because we're on lockdown, we can't really go out much. I think we're allowed to go out for an hour a day they suggested and um, no more in groups and no larger than two which is fine because it's only me and my mum who I spend time with and then obviously my mum's dog Minnie and obviously my dog Lucky 
we finally got a mini going out for them um, WALKs. Can't say the word because otherwise Lucky will go bolting for the door. And she's fine now. It's when you try and take the lead off her. She goes all mental. Hmm. Next shade we're going to be using is Purpy Perps. It's this one right here. The deepest purple in the palette. Take the extra stuff and then I'm just going to apply that just to the outer V and keep my eye open while I blend. It's a trick that I learned from watching um, a couple of the watching um, J Kiss's videos, she tends to do it. Ooh. So I'm just picking up the palette so the mirror is bigger. And then with whatever's left, I'll just slightly run it through the crease area. And I'm going to pick up a tiny bit more and then just really pack it on the outer V. And then wing it out. I mean this shade pretty much gets covered up by the black I'll use but like I say always say because I've done it on this eye I need to do it on this eye. Having fun there mister. Oh. Sorry my dog's just uh, enjoying his bone humping away. So I'm just um, using a brush that had the shade Majestic on it just to blend the outer edges and Perpy Perps. I love that name, Perpy Perps. I think it was um, Tammy's daughter who came up with that name. And I thought, I thought, that's so cute. And next I'm going to take the black shade, which is called Midnight Strong. Like I said, it's just the black. And I'm taking that on my... Uh, what is this? Round the Blend um, Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay. Yeah, I said it right. Uh, brush. And I'm literally going to really pack it on and then just start stamping it on. Like, I love this palette, but I was a tiny bit let down with the black. It's, it's pigmented, don't get me wrong, but it's also one of the blacks where you have to build it to get it to the opacity. Like, I think it took me, took me a little bit, but I don't really mind to be honest. Especially with a black, I'd rather build it than put it on and be like, whoa. Because then sometimes you can't. Like, uh, it doesn't really blend. And with whatever's left of the brush, I'm just going to start dragging it out. Picking up some more and then just tucking it on. Keep my eye open while I blend. Sorry that you can't see that. I'm just going to really pick some more again this time. And I'll actually use the And I'm going to go back in with that brush that had um, Peppy Perps on it and pick up a tiny bit of uh, Peppy Perps. And then I'll just softly run that over the edge, do like sort of scratching motions as in a key tutorial says, just to blend that edge out. Now that I've got that, it's nice and blended and looking how I want. I'm going to go in with my shader brush and pick up the metallic purple shade which is called uh, Paradise. Like I said, just the metallic purple one. And I'm going to spritz it. 
and that's just going to go on the rest of my lid. I'm going to put a tiny bit more and then just stamping it on the edge where it meets uh, Midnight Straw just so we can get a nice seamless blend between the two. <laughs> now, I'm going to take a makeup wipe, clean up the fallout as well as create a nice sharp line like I normally do. While I just let me face dry, I'm gonna take my highlighter and Girl's Best Friend by Haha Evolution. It's just this one, and I'm gonna apply just the center shade, like the goldy shade, to my brow bone. Sweet, and also apply. I'll just run the, uh, no, before I do that, I'm going to run my highlight and brush all the way through it. And then apply this to my forehead, tip of my nose, down the centre, cupid's bow, and chin. I've already uh, bronzed my forehead earlier. So guys, I've just got to pick up the dog's toy, because he's looking at it. I just say, come on, give it me. <laughs> now, if I can do that, I'm going to use, again, my um, shortbread heartbreakers concealer and shortbread by Aha Evolution. And with this one, I just literally like to do three or four dabs of it, and then I will blend it out. But before I do that, I'm gonna get some of the powder ready. And now I'm gonna blend. And as always, I'll drag it out just past my brow a little bit to help elongate my face or bring more attention to this area. Now I'm going to take my eye contour brush and then just set that entire area. Now just putting the lid back on that because you know my look I'll end up knocking it over and then It'll go everywhere. Sorry, I'm just tapping the excess powder off of this and use it to brush off. And then I'm going to go back in with my powder brush. Well, not go back in, I'm going to go in, I should say. I'm sure that the powder is completely off. Nope, that one down. Not this one. Now I'm going to go in with my. A smudger brush by Ronald Nicola Murder to take up, pick up some of the black Midnight Stroll and then apply it to the outer V area as well as wing it out on the bottom with touch. Now, kind of on my jawline, dude brush and I'm going to pick up 
that shimmery petal palette we used. The, what's it called? Carnival. That's it. Before I apply that, I'm just going to spritz my brush with some of my fixing spray by I Have Evolution. This one's in the shade uh, TT3D. And I'm just going to first stamp this on. And then I'll just run it back and forth. And turn the brush out over. I'm just going to take my, my contour brush and just flick some of the powder away that had just fallen. Sorry guys, I feel my energy just suddenly gone down. <laughs> oh well. So now I'm going in with my Moda detail brush and I'm going to take a sh combination of the shades. Uh, majestic and Coraline, touch of Majestic and focus mainly on Coraline just to blend all of this out. Now I'm just taking Coraline on its own, really winging the edge out. And ensuring that the shades are nice and blended before I go in with my BOM-13 eye contour brush by Omnia and Online Nicole. Taking my I Heart Revolution Milk Chocolate Palette, as always, just taking some of the translucent side and then just further running that beneath the shade beneath the colour line so it blends even more. <laughs> um, where's my eyeliner? For eyeliner today, I'm gonna use my Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in Nude by uh, Revolution Pro. You know the gel, just apply it to your top and, or oh, should I say in my case, my bottom and then top water lines. And I'm going to curl my lashes. And get off my finger. <laughs> oh, what's it gone? And the scar I'm using today to do curl of What's it? Curl of mascara by Makeup Revolution. Now to highlight my inner corner, I'm taking my eye highlight brush and I'm going to take the shade. Sorry guys, I got the thing. I'm going to take the shade, um, Caribbean, Caribbean, which is this gorgeous metallic pink. Right. As always, I'm going to spritz that. Yeah. I'm going to put a tiny bit more and really packing it on the inner corner. You can see, boom, I like it. Uh, for 
bronzer today, no surprise, sort of been using them the last few times, so I'm going to go back in with my mega bronzer in O1 Cool. And just start to chisel out my cheeks and slim down my face, which I really need at the minute because I put so much weight back on due to just eating rubbish and not being able to rejoin Slimming Lords when I wanted to. Because going into lockdown, couldn't rejoin again. Just pinching it and running that along the edge of my nose, tiny bit under my lip. And for blush, I'm going to go in with a palette that I haven't actually used in a while. I just decided to use it last night. It is the Vintage Lace Palette. And I'm going to take these two shades and I'll literally just Swirl my brush between the two. Now the gel, smile, and then just start to put that onto the apples of my cheeks and bring it back. So it's funny, if you'd asked me when I started getting into makeup if I'd like shimmery blushes or I'd be able to do like all kind of dramatic stuff like this, or at least I think I'm dramatic. I would have said no. Because when I got into makeup, I was rubbish. Okay, to the nose. And, oh, what's that one? Yep, there it is. Gonna take my girl's best friend hello again. And before I apply that, I'm just going to douse my face. Boom. I'm going to go back in with my blush just to blend between that and the bronzer. And once more, to set and spray. Where are my lips? So, for lips today, I'm going to use an old Holy Grail favourite of mine, the Liquid Matte Lipstick in Cartel by the Collective Cosmetics. And a bit of top of that, I'm going to take the eye, the topper, the eye lacquer. Um, I think this is from their um, Valentine, one of their Valentine's collections. You can see the gorgeous peachy shade. There's some sparkles in it, and I'm just going to run that. All over my lips. I kind of reminded myself of Sebastian on The Little Mermaid when I went, my lips. And the guys in the film, your lips. I think that's what he says. It's been a while since I've actually watched it. Might have to hunt it out later. <laughs> and one final time. Alright guys, that is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. 
Follow me on Instagram, faith underscore beauty underscore XOXO. And again, most importantly, don't forget to keep on remaining safe and remaining healthy. And I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.